So you, you can't plan the intricacies of God. He knows exactly what we need and when we need it. He knows how to deliver it. We've, we've been recipients of that as individuals. But if you can just grab hold of that you could be the recipient that helps somebody else find that love. If we can never, ever forget, never take lightly, never take for granted what Christ has done for me, for you as an individual. If you, if you hold that close always, you will then be the light for somebody else. Don't ever allow the enemy to tell you that you're not usable or not good enough. The enemy will lie to you and tell you that you're past. It's not going to ever dictate your future. Hey Rod, can I say something? Rod? Here I am. Back here. Exactly what you just said. I, I felt like I wanted to say something, but I didn't know how it fitted in. And as soon as you said that, I went, oh, yes, it does. Because you were saying, never think that that God can't use you or it's past or it's over. Is that what you said? Something like that. Um, recently, that I was uh, told that a song of mine that I'd written four years ago, um, actually Paul had put it on YouTube. It's called uh, You Are The Christ. And we do sing it in church from time to time. Um, had been um, had a, nearly a thousand hits on YouTube. And I went, what? You're kidding. I, you know, I was really excited in my spirit and um, because I kind of thought that season of my life was over with, you know, and um, but God, you know, He's not over with it. And also I remember when I wrote that song, my, I said to God, you know, this song, I believe it's got an anointing on it and I, my dream is it for, for it to go all the way around the world and that would, would help people to come into the throne room where they would enter in and they would worship God in, a, in an absolutely amazing way that would, you know, help them move, you know, into another place of worship, you know. Um, and, and so from that happening, that really showed me that, yeah, that season is not over. It's still going. God's in control. Um, and, uh, you know, it just put such a new excitement back in my spirit, you know. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Pam. So when we leave here today, take a freshness from here, a, a fresh... This, is, this might sound weird, but I'm just going to say it. Breathe in Christ this morning. Let Him be your breath. Let Him be the very breath that sustains you. That you could change somebody's life because He has changed yours. Amen?